What's up guys, NBA Talk. Today is November 28th, 2018. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday basketball for you. Um, covering games from yesterday, um, November 27th, 2018, Tuesday. Um, just a couple games to talk about and let's just run it real quick because I have to leave very soon. So I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. The New York Knicks versus the Detroit Pistons um, went down. That's the, that's the first game we're going to talk about. New York Knicks had a f good start in like the first half of the of the first quarter, the first half. The Detroit Pistons would take over that game forever. Like even though with the New York Knicks making sort of like bringing it down to like a seven point deficit, New York Knicks could not take over the game. The New York Knicks could not take over the game. It was just a wash. The New York Knicks could not score because everybody was missing shots, including Tim Hardaway Jr., who has been very good for us, scoring-wise. Like, he's been giving us 30-point games, 25-point games. He, he, was, he didn't shoot well, including a lot of people. We also fouled a lot. The Detroit Pistons got in there 45 attempts from the free throw line. That's crazy. We had 31 personal fouls on us. That's that's not good. Um, and our defense fell off in the second half. Well, actually, in correction, like for the next three quarters, like it's been awful. Well, actually, yeah, I'll take that back. Yeah, the, the second half was worse because we allowed two 30-point games, the third and the fourth quarter. We just, we just could not hold down Blake Griffin. We could not hold Reggie Jackson down. Stanley Johnson coming off the bench, doing some good work. They they were just doing damage to us. And we just could not match up in the offensive department, except for the fourth quarter where we sort of came off, especially with Alonzo Tear coming off the bench for us, scoring big time. So that's pretty much it to say. The, uh, the Detroit Pistons win this game 115 to 108 New York Knicks. Uh, Blake Griffin has been playing awesome. 30 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 12 for 16 for the free throw line. Reggie Jackson with 21 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Andre Drummond with 14 rebounds, 2 block shots, 6 points. And Stanley Johnson with 21 points. Made 2 out of 3 three-pointers, 5 for 8 for the free throw line. They shot 47% for the field, 48 rebounds, 20 assists, 13 turnovers. Dwayne Casey got this team rolling. They're in the middle of the pack in the Eastern Conference, just doing damage. The New York Knicks, um, Ennis Kenter pretty much a more consistent guy. 16 points, 14 rebounds um, for him, 8 out of 16 shooting. Tim Hardaway Jr. was 5 for 15 shooting, 19 points. He was 2 for 7 from the 3. Mario Hazonia needs to get the hell out of that lineup. Seriously. He needs to get the hell out of that lineup. Fouling out one for three from the field overall. Just five points. He needs to get the hell out of that lineup. Straight up. Vale, I will excuse him. He was definitely playing defense. Six points, seven rebounds, three block shots. He was doing good work, but he ended up fouling out. Three people fouled out, including Mitch Robinson, I think, in the third quarter. Because he was just foul trouble all night. Um, Moutier, bad game. I don't trust him. Like I always say, I, I just don't trust this dude. 4 for 13 from the field. 9 points. Kevin Knox, 1 for 7. Not good for the rookie. Frightening Tequila. I think we all can say that we're all losing faith in him. Like... Zero across the board, not a single stat other than a turnover. Did nothing. He is no threat on the offensive end whatsoever. He didn't pick no rebounds. He didn't get no steals. He didn't get no assists. And you played 15 minutes? No. I think it's, it's safe to say that he's starting to become a bust for everybody. Uh, Trey Burke had a bad game, one for eight for the field. You just notice that everybody's having a bad game on the offensive end. Dotson played 23 minutes. They played him. He dropped 17 points. They gave this guy some time, and look what happened. And you're hearing people going after this kid. 
and you want you you wonder why he's a threat on a, a three point shooting. He's a threat on the defensive end. Like he could play the hell out of defense. Alonzo Alonzo Tear as well. Twenty four points, ten rebounds, seven assists. Just fantastic work from him. Fantastic. Give these guys those minutes. Get rid of uh, Amario Zonia. Get rid of Frank Nitekila. But the thing is, well, actually, correction, no, because we have Trey Burke. Frank Nitekila, you can get the hell out of here. Moutier will not be the permanent um, point guard for this team for sure. There's a lot of overhaul things to do, especially for the guards. So that's pretty much it for this video. One more, I say, that'll be the Toronto game. So peace.